Okay, guys, no jokes in this one because, frankly, this could be taken out of context and go the wrong way very easily. So I'm going to be very careful with the words I use in this video. I want to share my thoughts and views on this because it's helped me immensely as an entrepreneur. It's helped me save my energy. It's helped me stay more focused. It's helped me succeed when other people are super distracted. And frankly, I've gotten a little bit of a taste of this recently. It's one of the reasons why I don't use social media. I don't watch TV. And I don't see how you can really be productive or be 100% yourself if this is going on in your head right now. I just don't. And so what I want to share in this video is something that I don't think I could be as successful as I am or the truest best person of myself that I could be if I didn't understand this. And this channel is really about being the best version of yourself and just kicking ass overall. So I want to share it with you. So let's just get three things out of the way. I think what happened to George Floyd, disgusting, horrible, horrible. I'm down for protesting. I support the protest. Three, I think the riots and the looting, they're disgusting as well. I can think two things are disgusting at the same time without being against either of them. That's my thoughts on it. And this video is not so much about my thoughts or what your thoughts should be. Depending on your views, what your political leaning is, everything can be debated and yelled at. I don't think anybody can really debate what happened to George Floyd. I, I think everybody agrees that's horrible. I think everybody thinks the rioting is horrible. But there's all sorts of gray areas, and I'm not trying to influence what your area of preference should be. What I am trying to tell you is this, and it is undebatable. A small, tiny, tiny, tiny group of men control all the media. The same five to six companies, they're all on the same page, own all the media. Three guys, actually four guys, if you include the Google boys as two, own all of the internet. Seriously, here's a diagram of basically the entire media. You can see about four companies own everything. So regardless of where you stand on this, it is just a fact that a tiny, tiny, tiny group of white men, less than 10 guys, control everything we see in the search engines, social media, and on TV. Now, I'm not going to debate with you if that's evil or they're, they're doing something wrong. I'm not here to do that right now. I'm just stating a fact right now. And the thing you must ask yourself is why would a group of 10 white guys be doing all these things? Why would they be spreading this news? What is their intent? Their intent could be good. Their intent could be evil. But you must understand that everything we see, it wouldn't be a thing unless they wanted it to be a thing. If they didn't want us to know about certain things, they didn't want certain things to be seen, they didn't want people to know about certain things, we just wouldn't see it. We just wouldn't see it. So the question is, why do they want us to see it? Why do they want us to see it? And so what you have to understand is what is shown to us is chosen by them. The things we see, the way they're expressed to us, the way they're shown to us is chosen by them. And most of our world that we view on TV and on social media is chosen by them. Am I saying that their intentions are bad or good? I don't know. I don't know what their intents are. But this stuff is chosen for us and shown to us. The world that we see not necessarily is the world that is. It is the world that is chosen to be shown to us. And these issues that are causing massive divides right now, the C word in particular, I'm not going to say because it, it tr triggers algorithms, and all the things that are going on right now with the riots and everything, they are chosen in a specific way to be shown to us. And there is an intent. Now, I don't know what the intent is, but what I'm trying to say to you is that the things that are super important to you, the things that people are screaming about on social media, the things that people are, are fighting over and beating the crap out of each other for, these are picked for us and shown to us. What I'm trying to say is that if you're putting massive amounts of energy and thought and trying to change the world that they're showing you, you're not going to change anything. It's completely in vain because they're showing you what they want to see. And if you're on the fence about what I'm saying right here, Literally up to about a week ago, the C word was, uh, was reason to destroy the entire economy. It was, it was reason to shut down your entire life, give away all of our, everything that we do in our daily life, just everything. It was the biggest thing ever. And then as soon as the media and the, the people that own the press found something different, suddenly the C word's not even relevant. It went from being the most relevant, most powerful thing ever to just being a backseat to something completely else. And what does that mean? And look, I'm not trying to influence you in any way or belief system. If there's things that are important to you and you view them a certain way, that's great. This video is not meant to influence your beliefs or tell you what you should believe in or what should be important to you. What this is meant to tell you is this. If you are basing your thoughts, energy, and action, trying to change this world right here, it's completely in vain. No matter how much you kick, no matter how much you scream, no matter how much you fight, no matter how much you debate on social media, no matter how much energy you put into it, all of it's in vain. 
you could think about this all day long and debate it all day long and yell about it all day long, or you could do nothing. Your result will be exactly the same. And that's because the levers for this world you're seeing right here on social media and the media are not pulled by you. They're not pulled or controlled by you. They're controlled by those 10 or so guys that I talked about. You are just, if you're in here and you're fighting and screaming and debating, you're just inside of it. You're not playing the game and going out there and fighting, struggling or, or doing nothing. It's like thinking that if Super Mario goes and beats Bowser 20 times in a row, he's going to somehow be the person playing the game and controlling the game. Super Mario will never be in control of the game. The levers for this world right here are pulled by those 10 or so guys right there. And this isn't me going conspiracy theory. I showed you who owns the companies. We're all aware of who owns all the social media companies. This is just how it is. Something can go from being insanely important to irrelevant overnight, not based on your actions, but based on what they think. Because they are the ones who have the levers. They have power. You don't have any power. You don't. But there is an optimistic tone to this video. Just give me a sec. And so what is the point of this? Why am I saying all this? Am I going down the, an Alex Jones conspiracy theory hole? No, I'm not. What I'm telling you is that if you're trying to change that world that you're seeing, you're doing it completely in vain. Because it's like there's a bunch of guys, 10 of them, lifeguards at White and Wild, and they're playing with the control boxes at a wave pool. And you're in the wave pool fighting people and trying to influence the waves in the wave pool itself. You can't because you're in the wave pool. Everything going on at the waves coming at you, the people you're fighting against, it's all an illusion because you're not actually playing with the controls. What it all really comes down to, all the people fighting, all the people yelling at each other, it comes down to three core things. How does this affect me? Is this acceptable with my values and what I want to see out of the world? And how does this affect people I care about? Those are the three things it comes down to. And that's really why everybody's fighting and going nuts. But you have to understand, if those three things are important to you, the worst thing you can possibly do is be playing in the wave pool. Because the game is not being controlled at the wave pool level. The wave is not being controlled at the Super Mario level where he's jumping around and hopping on turtles. That's not where the game is being played. It's being played outside of Nintendo 64. It's being played at the control switch of the wave pool. And the only way you can go and achieve those three things, to live in a world which you control and you can control how it affects you, to live in a world where you can have some control over the values and where you live and the values of how your society acts, and to live in a world where you're able to make sure that the people you care about and love are also positively affected. The only way to have those things is to have one simple thing, power. If you are fighting in the wave pool, if you're playing the game, if you're running around jumping on turtles' heads, you don't have power. You don't have power because you can't change it at that level. What you should be doing, if those three things are what you care about, you shouldn't be fighting on social media. You shouldn't be screaming at other people. You shouldn't be doing 10 other different things. You should be putting your head down and building and accumulating wealth and accumulating influence. Because the only time you can actually play with the control box at Wet and Wild is if you have the power to get out of the wave pool, climb up and actually start playing with the control box too. That's the only way you can actually influence the world to match your values. That also being said, most people don't want to influence the world. Most people just want to be left alone and be immune to it. The only way to be immune to any nonsense you don't agree with is to have enough wealth and power to simply rise above it. It's like there's a wave pool and you build yourself a, a little fort that's right above the waves and you can move anywhere you want. And you can afford to rise above these things. Now, is this me saying that if you're not wealthy, you don't have control of your life? It, it kind of is. It kind of is. That being said, I'm not saying that people that don't have a lot of money should not be in control of their lives. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is the best way to protect yourself and make sure that you're going to be okay is you have to generate power. You have to go out there and fight. No matter how hard you scream on social media, no matter how hard you try to influence what's going on, it's not something you can influence and control because you're trying to influence and control a game that's created by somebody else. And see, here's where it's so damaging. Because before the riots started happening, I had no, I had no idea any of this stuff was going on because I don't use social media. And I just checked social media for two seconds and I saw all, all these fires and all these things going on. And suddenly I'm angry and I'm thinking about these problems and I'm like thinking about you know yelling at people on social media. And I'm getting all upset. And suddenly my brain power that was focused on building, just building things so that I can take care of my team, I can take care of my family, I can take care of myself. Those the important things, accumulating the power to actually be uninfluenced by these things. That all got distracted for a second. 50% of my brain is now focused on all these problems and all these things going on and getting mad at this or that or what about it. Am I saying don't care about these things? No, I'm not saying that at all. Am I saying these things aren't important? No, I'm not saying that at all. Am I saying that the C word isn't real? No, I'm not saying that at all. Am I saying that the George Floyd that doesn't, that isn't real and it's just made up? No, I'm not saying that at all. These are all important things, but the only, way we can, the only way we can impact these things is if you have power. And so what is best for you if you care about these things? What is best for you if you want what's best for you, what's best for your family in a world that reflects your values? That what is best for you is to shut 
the fuck up. Put your head down and build and build and build. You are in the wave pool. Put your head down and slowly swim and ignore everything that's going on. Get out of the wave pool. Climb the ladder, which is, again, a metaphor for gaining power and building a business or building something that gives you the ability to play with that control box. And tell them there's no point in screaming. There's no point in yelling. There's no point in fighting in the wave pool. It's like you're in the wave pool and you're punching waves. You're punching the waves. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The waves are controlled by somebody else. And then once you have power, you can do all sorts of things. You can donate money to the causes, whatever side you stand on, and you can influence the world to reflect your values. That's when you have power. That's when you have power. But if you're going around and getting upset by whatever topics picked for you for the month, and again, when I'm saying a topic is picked for us, I'm not saying it's not important. I'm saying that if you are only paying attention to the topics that are picked for us, for example, CVID was picked, it was the most important thing in the world, and then suddenly it's irrelevant. How does that happen unless someone's pulling the switches? There's, there's this big wave in the wave pool coming at us, everyone's freaking out about it, and another wave comes out of nowhere and hits us right there, and this wave's just gone. You're going on this roller coaster that has intent, and you're just going along with that intent, and you're living someone else's intent. You're playing someone else's game. You are playing Super Mario, you're smashing turtles and kicking down trees and jumping on mushrooms, thinking that's gonna allow you to have the power to actually control the game. It's not. And so what you should do when this thing is happening is just give it zero thought and keep focusing on you and gaining your power because that's the only way you can protect yourself. That's the only way you can protect the ones you care about. There's nothing you can scream, do, yell in vain that will actually affect anything. And I know that's a morbid kind of outlook. I know it's a morbid kind of outlook, but you have to understand if you're trying to influence the television, if you're trying to influence social media, that world you're trying to influence isn't the real world. It's an illusion created by whoever's displaying it to you. Now, am I saying, again, the things that they're talking about aren't real? No, but I'm saying you're trying, to, you're trying to influence someone else's game. It's like you're trying to change the code of the game by playing Super Mario. The way you change the code of the game is you get outside the console and you have to mess with the console. And the only way you can do that is by putting your head down and working. The only way you can do that is by putting your head down and working and building something. That's the only way you can do it. If not, you might as well just sit down and accept whatever the wave's going to give you because that thing you're seeing on TV, that thing you're seeing on social media is picked for you to influence you in a certain way. And it blows my mind that people think that the people that are explaining these things, I'm not saying they're evil. I'm not saying they're good. I'm just saying if you think that they're putting stuff on TV that's not in their best interest, you're nuts. You're nuts. They're not on your side. They are on their side. You're nuts. Why would, why would 10 white guys controlling all the media do that? Why would they do that? Because they have an intent. I don't know what the intent is, but going and fighting the waves and screaming at the television isn't going to make them display the world in a different way. You're not going to see the impact of what you do on the television. You're just going to keep seeing their point of view. So that's it. Just kind of a rant, guys. I wanted to share this with you guys because my opinion on this is I don't look at social media. I don't look at TV because the only thing, the only thing that's ever going to protect me is building an amazing company with amazing employees that generates a lot of money, gives me wealth, gives wealth to my employees, and allows me to take care of my people and myself. That's the only way I can ever protect myself. That's the only way I can ever live in a world that benefits me, reflects my values, and takes care of the people that I care about. That's the only way I can achieve it. And I really suggest you do too, because if you get involved in this stuff, it is the most distracting, painful thing you can put into your head. Because suddenly 50% of your, your brain is going and trying to work out and, and find positions on problems you have no control over. You have no control over. The problems are picked and shown to you by someone that you can't control. So don't, don't play the game. Don't play the game. That's it, guys. That, that's all I have to say about it. Let me know your thoughts below. Again, I'm not telling anybody to take any position politically. I'm not saying one thing matters and another thing matters. I'm just saying thinking about these problems and focusing in on them takes away your energy and power, and that stops you from actually creating a world that benefits you and the people you care about. So focus on moving your needle forward until you're in a position of power where you can actually influence things that matter to you. That's it.